guys welcome back to our channel it has been a hot minute since I have done a grocery haul um, you guys know that we've been going through some stuff with my dad's health and everything so I thought it was time to kind of get back to normal um, we're still in the waiting game waiting for answers on his biopsy results so why not try to get my mind off things and kind of get back to normal so it is Sunday morning and I just picked up our grocery order this is from Walmart and here is everything we got for the week um, the last couple weeks I've ordered the kids these little pizza crusts and there's three of them in a pack. They are perfect size for like a little mini personal pizza. Um, and they just get to add their sauce and their favorite toppings. I brushed a little olive oil on them first and put some seasoning and then they do like sauce and cheese and toppings. So we got more of those. This I have never ordered before. It is half length spaghetti and spaghetti is one of Anderson's favorite dinners and we're going to have that one of these nights this week. So I thought, yeah, spaghetti. So I thought I would try this. Um, some chocolate dipped uh, granola bars. They were out of the Sun Belt fudge dipped coconut bars and the fudge dipped chocolate chip granola bars. So I grabbed these. Um, my kids love wafer cookies and the great value ones are actually delicious. They have them in strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Cohen's not a fan of anything really artificial strawberry flavored. He likes actual strawberries, but he doesn't like anything artificially strawberry flavored. So I got vanilla. Hey, babe. Yep, that's for spaghetti. And then I got more Greek yogurt. So they upped the limit on these. It was four for quite a while was the max that you could order. And now it is six. So I got some of those. Some more coffee filters. My favorite makeup remover. I was running a little bit low, so I grabbed another one. I got some more lunch meat. This is a delicious garlic and herb flavored um, chicken. Yeah, sorry, I can't remember if it was chicken or turkey. Chicken breast. Um, we got some more peanut butter. I need to still make that trip to Sam's or Costco that I've been talking about for forever. So until then, I just grabbed a little thing of peanut butter because I think I'm finally going to go this week. I even considered maybe doing Sam's later this afternoon. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. So if you guys see a um, haul later for Sam's, then you'll know I decided to go today. I'm really confused about these. <laughs> so the whole peeled tomatoes, I did not order these. So I need to contact Walmart and let them know I'm afraid I got someone's tomatoes. These were a substitute it said on the bag. So there's those. I ordered a yellow pepper, orange, and a red pepper, um, some onions, a couple honey crisp apples. Anderson's been asking for more apples. She loves apples so much. And so I wanted to order just a few, like I said, until I go to um, either Sam's, Costco, Sprouts, something like that. Still have not been to Sprouts, you guys, since March. And you guys know that is not like me. So I think I'm going to finally go. Um, some lemons for a recipe, more bread for the kids. I got some coffee creamer for Chris and myself. I'm going to try the amaretto and I got him the cold stone sweet cream. He has had it before and he really likes it. Um, but for me, it's just, it's too sweet. So I'm hoping the amaretto is not too sweet. More cheese for the kids breakfast sandwiches, along with some string cheese and some shredded cheese, This some shredded mozzarella. This is for the pizzas that they're going to make. Um, I'm just not in the whole make my own pasta sauce kind of mood right now. So um, I bought a jar of the tomato basil garlic. Hey, Bella. We got some clam chowder. That is one of Anison's favorite soups and she will eat like half a can for lunch and then she'll have half a can the next day. We got some more bananas. So brown rice, I buy the minute brown rice and you guys know that I'm not against great value brands so I buy that as well. I have not been able to find it the last couple grocery orders, probably the last three actually. So I bought these last time and you just stick them in the microwave for one minute for one little cup. And then if you're doing both, I believe it's only like a minute and a half, but it's actually quite a bit of rice. Like Chris and I can split one of these cups and it's more than enough. So I grabbed more of those, um, more of the Annie's mac and cheese. Got some broccoli here. Um, I've been really happy with the broccoli they pick out for me. I've only had one time that it's been kind of like, yeah. Uh, goldfish crackers. We got more tortilla chips, pretzels, and barbecue chips. We also got a roasted garlic and herb pork loin. This is one of the bigger ones I have seen. Um, we love to do these in the air fryer. It is delicious in the air fryer. I've also done them in the oven and the crock pot. Um, air fryer is my favorite way to make them. And then I would say oven is next. The crock pot is okay. Mine just cooks really high, even on low. So the last couple times I did them in the crock pot, they tend to get kind of like dried out. So I've just kind of given up on the crock pot for the pork loin. Some of these mini alphabet cookies, they also have other flavors in these, like a little mini chocolate chip, sort of like a little Chips Ahoy type cookie. And then they also have, I believe it's oatmeal iced. So we got some of these alphabet. Those are a favorite for the kids. 
These are chicken drumsticks. It's a five pound bag and it was less than $5. So I'm gonna make those skinny taste lemon feta drumsticks. Some more olive oil, eggs. I'm gonna hard boil actually the entire dozen because I still have an 18 pack of eggs in the fridge. So Chris goes back to the office on Monday and he will be taking lunches again and all that fun stuff. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. He has been working from home since March 15th, you guys. So he's finally going back to the office. I'm sure he's excited about that, but I figured I would hard boil just a whole package of the eggs and keep them. I just write hard boiled on the package and keep them in the fridge. Jackson and Anson are big fans of them. Chris and myself eat them. So we go through them pretty quickly. Some feta for the drumsticks. This is another thing I usually like to get at like Costco or Sam's because we are all fans of feta cheese and go through it fast. And this will literally be just enough for the recipe. So it will not last long. You heard feta, yes. Okay, hold on babe, I'll get you some. Okay, I'll let you have a little taste. We got some fruit snacks and then I ordered, so I'm not big on canned vegetables. I try to do fresh or frozen, but once in a while I order canned. So I had ordered two small cans of the Libby's French style green beans. One second, you can tell them, okay? Okay, okay, real fast, tell them. And we have ice cream with chocolate and caramel in it. Ice cream with chocolate and caramel, yes. So I ordered two small cans of the Libby's green beans and they told me that they were out of stock. So they gave me the option to remove them from my order and select something else, which I did. So I selected the great value green beans and for some reason they gave me three cans of the whole Great Value Green Beans and then they substituted the Libby's for these two jumbo cans. So we are set on green beans for quite a while. I also got some Vermont maple brown and syrup sausage. You guys know that's a favorite. We are huge fans of these breadsticks. They are delicious. They actually have a really good garlic taste. We're big garlic fans. And we've preferred these over like the Texas toast style garlic bread the last few times. So a lot of people on TikTok when I make meals and I show the breadsticks, they're like, where do you get those? So this is where I get them. They're super good. Some salad. And then we're trying this great value sea salt caramel ice cream this time. Um, I have to check it though. It looks like it's open. So that's not good. Like the top is busted in and then half a gallon of milk so this is all of our groceries for the week i believe all of this was 117 dollars and some change um i have quite a bit of fruit left in the fridge so i didn't order a ton and then like i said i'm gonna do hopefully like sam's or costco this week and maybe even sprouts to grab the rest of the stuff we need um so this is what we got for the week so just thought i would share that with you guys i probably will not show putting it away in the pantry today just because it's just kind of a hectic day right now, so I'm just going to try to uh, get that put away quickly. We have a lot to do today, and I haven't got started on anything. Hey guys, so, if you look on this side, there's big chunks. Of there is big out. chunks. She is still in pajamas. It's only like nine. What time is it? Nine thirty. So yeah. Feta. Okay, hold on. She got a big old bug bite. You guys, look. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Tell everybody, Aniston. Look. Say, have a great week. Have a great week. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>